let's see the granulator 2 uh, which is an amazing free granulator synthesizer uh, you can download it from the Ableton website we'll put a link we can even download it on the bottom uh, right here uh, under available packs so max for live granulator 2 let's load it nice now this is kind of like a sampler uh, I just have the ability to have a lot of different playheads and do different things with them uh, to create this type of granular sy uh, synthesis. Um, so let's load a sample. I'm going to go into samples and let's search uh, piano. Here, let's take something from the Loopmaster mixtape. It's a free pack you can download. Let's try this. I'm going to drag it right here. Nice, and now it's here. Okay, so the granulator again, it's a sampler, so I can just start playing it melodically. And we can see it's only looping a specific section right here in the waveform display. So here is the loop size, the grain. That's the size, let's loop it. I just loop in it. You can make it shorter. Excellent, and let's uh, take this down. Nice, now we also have the file position of where we're actually in the sample we're playing. We can move it around. Let me map the file position to the mod wheel. Nice, so um, um, it allows us to change the loop size and where it's actually looping in the sample. Now let's see all the controls here because there's a lot of other things we can do. So first of all, it just tells us here the note that we're hitting and the velocity. We can zoom in on the waveform. We can zoom in inside on the display. Let's go all out. Right here is the grain size again. And we can also um, write by default the key, it's key tracked. So if we go higher, also the looping is gonna be much faster. If we go low, looping is gonna be slower. But we can turn it down, so the looping is the same length. Wherever you uh, hit the key. Right here we can spread, which can create a very wide stereo effect, because each grain on the left and right is gonna be slightly detuned for the starting point. It's gonna be really nice for stereo. And right now we can hear that they're just uh, launching the clips, uh, the loops regularly. We can turn on random to add some randomization to the starting and the ending of the grains, the loops. Nice. And we can even, right here in the file position, we can add key. So as I play it higher in the keyboard, it also goes uh, forward in time or backward. So that's the key tracking right here on the file position. Uh, spray, so we can actually spray uh, before and after uh, the actual selection of the grain. Let's make it smaller. So before and after, and this is decide how much time before and after we're actually going. We can also decide just uh, to the right or just after, just before. And also the slope, kind of the uh, changing, the skipping of the randomization between in and out. It's gonna be much more uh, abrupt. Nice, let's turn off the spray. Let's turn it up a bit. Nice, here we can turn on the LFO. And by default, it doesn't do anything. We need to apply it. So we can apply the LFO to the grain size. Let's start a bit bigger. And let's make this a bit faster. Nice, so we can hear it's kind of affecting. The, the grain size. You can also do it to the position. And we have all the shapes, of course. We can even randomize. We can turn it into slow mode. Have keyboard tracking. Face the left and right, so now it's different from the left and right. Again, more stereo effects. And re-trigger the start of the LFO. Let's turn it off. Oh, let's turn it down. Uh, we can also scan. So if you turn on the scan, it's actually going to play. Let's put the grain from the beginning. Oh, the file position. We can also change it from here. 
Let's put it in the beginning. So it's just gonna scan it. And let's turn down the random. Now we can, let's go. I just playing the original loop. But we can stretch the time. So it takes longer. That's too super slow. So now it's kind of slowing down of how it's playing it uh, with looping. Again, you cannot take the grain and the file position automatically moving them. You can add more emphasis in the grain. And you can really stretch it like 10,000%. Have the key affected. Velocity. And distance is how much in the loop is actually going to go to. So the scan is really awesome stuff. Um, right here, we basically have the kind of the transition between all the grains, all the loops. Uh, so standard will give us the smoothest amount of uh, mixing between those grains. The, the smoothest uh, result. But we can change that to like fall. So now each grain, we can hear it kind of falls between one another. We can add some more. Emphasize that. Also change the shape here. So we can see a representation of what it's actually doing to the transition between uh, the different grains and noise. It's kind of experimental, this thing. Nice. We have a uh, amplitude modulation. So it's basically going to uh, randomly turn down uh, different grains. And if we switch to void, it's going to randomly uh, mute different grains. Let's turn down the amount. Let's bring in more grains even. So we're going to make it smaller. So now it's muting random grains. We can bring up the ones that are not muted from the residual. Nice. Uh, and here we can even grab live. Uh, we might do this in a different video. You can, uh, there's another device that you can put an audio track and grab uh, live audio into the granular and immediately start granulating it. I saw a lot of live uh, guitarists do it uh, to create some glitchy, cool sounds. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, let us uh, know in the comments. We'll uh, create another video for the live in. Nice. Uh, just volume, velocity, how much it affects, and how many voices. Now, Right here we can switch, we can even hold the note, so let me hold the note here. We can switch to the, let me hold the lower note. Oh. Let's hold that. And we can switch to the filter view, and here we have the volume envelope, uh, the pitch, uh, the fine tune. We can even affect the pitch by velocity, which is super dope, so... Uh, as I change it, it's fine tune it. Uh, we can randomize the pitch. So I'm going to put it very low. Can add some uh, variety to the sound, some more inconsistencies. Uh, we even have a FM uh, built in oscillator. So we can bring it up the amount. Here's the frequency. And uh, you can decide if uh, keyboard amount, how much that affects the amount or their uh, frequency, and here's the frequency and here's the amount. Envelope, so the filter envelope will be affect that. So now we can hear that uh, coming in with the envelope and velocity. How much that? So that's the FM, uh, here's the filter envelope, and here we have two filters, um, just the basic ones, you know, low pass, high pass, band pass, notch, and an EQ. So you can add uh, some of that, let's add an envelope here. Maybe we'll take a, let's go back here, we'll take an individual note, just a small... Let's take one note. Right, so 
you can do anything from textures to kind of eerie leads and pads, bells if you throw into that, very cool. Try to throw any kind of fine percussion. Uh, but that's the granulator, really amazing stuff. I love it so much. You can click about to see like uh, about the developer, which is from Robert Henke, one of the original founders of uh, Ableton. And I heard rumors that Granulator 3 is coming out. Don't know if that's actually going to happen. We'll see. But uh, Granulator 2, check it out. You can create some really, really nice uh, sounds here that you might not come up with with just regular synthesizers. Mm-hmm. 